Wow, don't I just love the glare from my glasses. Anyways, today I'm gonna start something new called Taybug Story Time. Since I wasn't able to vlog, I'm just gonna tell it like it was. I'll post some pictures of it as I go along if I feel like I want to, because I did take a few pictures, but not too many. So, anyways, I want to talk to you today about my trip to the good old days this last weekend in Fort Scott. Now, many of you know that I was born and raised in Fort Scott, Kansas, and so I currently reside uh, 30 minutes south of there with my boyfriend. So, anyways, I, um... One day, I was, a few days before, I was like, I don't, I want to really want to go to good old days. It's going to be really, really sunny, and I don't like the sun, and it's going to be really, really hot, right? Well, I was completely wrong. So, and I didn't know why I wanted to go so bad. I really didn't. Like, I really want to go this year, and I don't know why I didn't been this excited to go. So, I did. And it turn, as it turns out, I had a lot of fun. I went with my boyfriend's mom, and uh, she's never been before, so it was good for her. It was good to hang out with her, and um, she actually met my mom and my sister, and so that was really cute. That was really cool. Um, so, anyways, I didn't know where I really wanted to go, but I did anyways. And um, so we went to the baby contest, which my friend. My friend from high school, actually, um, we've known each other for like 12, 13 years, I don't know how long, it's been a while. Anyways, she just recently had a baby, and so she was, put her little daughter, Catalin, in the, um, in the baby contest. She didn't win, but, you know, by my standards, she's the beautiful baby there. And, uh, so, uh, <laughs> we went to that, and then we walked up and down the, um, uh, up and down the three blocks from 3rd third and Wall Street on Main Street. From 3rd and Wall all the way to Scubitz Plaza and back. And um, I had some very interesting encounters. My first encounter was from my 8th grade teacher, which um, I will be doing a story time soon. But basically I went to a uh, Christian school during my middle school years. And so I... Um, um, my teacher from my 8th grade English, uh, she was there. I hadn't seen her in probably 10, close to 10 years. And so it was, I was so excited to see her. And so I realized at the end of the tour that, um, yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to go is because I wanted to see her. I saw her for about five minutes, met her kids and everything, and it was so cute. I thoroughly enjoyed myself the entire day, but that just made the high. That just made my day, basically. And so, um, and then um, I also bought, which I will give you a clip here in a little bit, um, of a. <clears throat> it's a makeup bag that's got owls on it, but it's. Um, but I'm gonna use it for my Young Living oil. All right, this is the basically the makeup bag that I got. But as you can tell, I put all my oils that still have oil in them in this little thing. And as, as I grow in my business and as I get more oils, I will put more up here. And then I will show an updated version. But this is what it looks like right now. And this is the thing that I got in Port Scott. But it was a really good investment. Um, so, I am really, really excited about that because it's just in this little pouch in the kitchen and it's so cute. Anyways, that was my only, my one and only purchase, and my mom got it for me actually because she's my mom and I love her to death. And um, also the uh, Duck Dynasty people were there. Um, Willie Robertson, I think, was there. Um, we didn't get to see him because we were there before they were there. Showed up, but their booth was there, and that was really cool. Um, and. There's just a lot of, you know, booths with crafts and that sort of thing from all over the country, actually. We met one people, one person, and they were from Mississippi, I think. And they had just come up for the weekend or whatever. And um, 
so that was really cool. Anyways, um, we actually, afterwards, um, me and his mom went, there were street ven food, food vendors, you know, with carts, food, food carts, yeah, that's what they're called, <laughs> food carts there, and, um, we didn't eat at the food carts, we actually ate at the new grill, now, the new grill of Fort Scott is known because it's called the Bowman's New Grill, and my last name is Bowman, my uncle owns it, actually, it's been there going there for about 12, 15 years, maybe, yeah, probably about 15 years. Anyways, it's really cool. Actually, you yeah, just eat the grease. It's, that's what it's there. You just pay for the grease. Um, <laughs> but basically, it's just like a big burger joint. And you can grab burgers and fries and whatever. Um, when my uh, cousin is cooking, I like to get their burgers and fries. And I ate the whole thing and didn't realize how hungry I was. But I was apparently hungry. So, uh, yeah, we went to New Grill and then we... Came home, I think. Yeah, we came home after that. So it was a lot of fun. All in all, it was a really good day. Um, I'm just giving this my best shot, so hey, you know, whatever. Um, so thank you for tuning in and listening to what I had to say about the good old days. Um, if you haven't been yet, I encourage you to go next year. Um, it's it's just a lot of fun. I didn't really like it too much after I graduated high school but actually this time was a good show and hopefully next year I get to go again and I will actually be able to vlog because my phone was getting ready to die when I did it so I couldn't I wasn't able to do anything so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up if you did and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you later bye guys love ya